Welcome to the House of Hypertrophy. In this video, we're comparing 1, 3 and 5 minutes of rest between sets for strength and hypertrophy outcomes. Bodybuilders are historically famous for utilizing short rests between sets. An American paper all the way back from 1987 reported the recruited bodybuilders rested 10 to 90 seconds between sets. The legendary bodybuilder Arnold, in his book, recommended keeping rest periods down to a minute or less. Strength athletes more commonly utilize longer rests. Returning to the 87 American paper, their recruited powerlifters tended to rest 120 to 420 seconds between sets. Does the scientific literature support these practices? Is muscle hypertrophy enhanced with shorter rest intervals and muscle strength with longer rests? Let's analyze this. Interestingly, the scientific literature suggests the optimal restoration for muscle hypertrophy depends on whether an exercise recruits a large amount of muscle mass or a small amount of muscle mass. Exercises involving a large amount of muscle mass include compound exercises but also lower body isolation exercises. With these exercises, it appears short rest periods are suboptimal for muscle hypertrophy. A 2060 New York study found in trained men performing a range of compound exercises plus a lower body isolation exercise. With these training variables, muscle hypertrophy outcomes were superior when resting 3 minutes between sets versus 1 minute. A 2020 Brazilian study found in untrained men performing the leg press with these training variables, quad gains were superior when resting 3 minutes versus 1 minute between sets. A 2009 study from the USA found in untrained men training a program heavily involving large muscle mass movements. Arm and thigh gains were greater when resting 2.5 minutes as opposed to 1 minute between sets. Finally, a 2017 Japanese paper found in untrained men training the bench press and squat with these variables. Triceps gains were similar between resting for 2.5 minutes or 30 seconds, yet thigh gains tended to be better when resting for 2.5 minutes. Thus, this overview literature is solid evidence with large muscle mass exercises. Resting 2.5 to 3 minutes between sets evokes greater hypertrophy versus shorter rest periods. What about 5 minute rest periods? This 2016 English study had trained men perform the leg press and leg extension with these variables. Long term hypertrophy was not evaluated, but the researchers established myofibrillar protein synthesis elevations after training was overall superior when using 5 minutes of rest between sets versus 1 minute. This is mainly evident in the immediate hours after training. The temporary increases in testosterone were actually greater when using 1 minute of rest between sets. This finding elegantly depicts how temporary increases in anabolic hormones, like testosterone, mean nothing for actual contractile protein synthesis and by extension, long term muscle growth. This is notable as its often purported short rests are superior for hypertrophy since they promote greater temporary anabolic hormone increases. But again, it's evident temporary anabolic hormone spikes aren't associated with hypertrophy. Other scientific papers corroborate this. Progressing forward, how does 2.5 to 3 minutes compare to 5 minutes of rest between sets? Unfortunately, there's no precise research exploring this. The paper with the closest relevancy is this 2005 Finnish study which found in-trained men performing squats and leg presses, quad gains were similar between resting 2 or 5 minutes between sets. Yet, a confounder is the 2 minute rest condition involved performing one extra set per exercise than the 5 minute rest condition. This may lead one to believe if sets were equated, the 5 minute rest period would have been superior. But I should note this study wasn't the best designed or controlled. Subjects performed other exercises and training was unsupervised. The researchers relied on training diaries. Accordingly, I believe better quality data is required to evaluate the efficacy of 5 minute rest periods for hypertrophy. At the least, I think it's sensible to recommend 2.5 to 3 minutes of rest between large muscle mass exercise sets for hypertrophy. An individual may wish to experiment with 5 minute rest intervals if they have the time and are willing to do so. Now, if 2.5 to 3 minutes of rest between sets is difficult for you to achieve due to time constraints, Supersetting exercises that train opposing or non-related muscle groups can be an effective method to shorten your workout duration while still technically resting longer between sets of the same exercise. What about rest periods with exercises training smaller amounts of muscle mass, i.e. isolation upper body exercises? The research isn't as refined in this area, but what exists suggests short rests are viable if not maybe superior. 
This 2016 Japanese study had men train largely isolated biceps and triceps movements. One group trained with reps to failure with 20 rep max loads per set and 30 seconds rest between sets, while another group trained with reps to failure with 8 rep max loads and 3 minutes of rest between sets. Both groups performed the same number of sets, and it's worth noting the use of different loads between groups is probably not a major issue, as we know reps between 6 and 35 are similar for hypertrophy when reps are performed too or close to failure. Arm gains were greater for the group resting 30 seconds between sets. Another 2018 Japanese paper had untrained men train dumbbell curls. One condition involved three sets of reps to failure with an 80% one rep max load and three minutes of rest between sets. A second condition with three sets of reps to failure with a 30% one rep max load and 90 seconds of rest between sets. And a third condition involving a drop set with reps to failure performed with these five loads back to back with no rest between them. Elbow flexor gains were similar between all three conditions, suggesting a 3 minute, 90 seconds, and no rest, i.e. drop sets, are comparable for gains. Though I should note the drop set condition technically involved two more sets, so this is a potential confounder and consideration. Yet another 2018 Japanese study had untrained men train triceps pushdowns. One condition involved normal sets with 90 second rest intervals, while a second condition involved drop sets with no rest between reps to failure. Triceps gains tended to favor the drop set condition, suggesting short rests, specifically no rest with drop sets, may be beneficial. Though the drop set condition technically involved one more set, so this is a consideration and potential confounder. Again, this literature isn't super refined, but I think it's decent enough to infer with exercises training a small amount of muscle mass, short rests are viable if not potentially, and I must emphasize potentially, superior. In the studies finding 2.5-3 to 3 minutes of rest between sets produces more hypertrophy than shorter rests in large muscle mass movements, they equated sets between the different rest interval conditions, which is of course what we wanted. But with these large muscle mass exercises, could performing more sets with shorter rests be effective to produce equivalent hypertrophy to fewer sets with longer rests? Most likely yes. We briefed this 2020 Brazilian study earlier, finding when training the leg press with these variables, quad gains were superior when resting for 3 minutes versus 1 minute between sets. Yet this study also had a third condition I did not mention. This condition performed sets of reps to failure with 1 minute of rest between sets, and aimed to match the volume load attained by the condition using 3 minutes of rest between sets. This resulted in this condition performing an average of 4.5 sets of reps to failure with 1 minute of rest between sets per session. And this condition saw similar hypertrophy to the 3 minute condition, that only used 3 sets of reps to failure per session. So with large muscle mass exercises, more sets with shorter rests can likely produce similar hypertrophy to using longer rests with fewer sets. It's worth noting from a time perspective, both would be fairly similar. Of course, using the 3 minute rest would be less fatiguing and the total quality of your volume may be superior, but the short rest may still be useful if you prefer short rests, want to change up your routine and or want to enhance cardiovascular adaptations. In line with probably everyone's expectations, longer rests between sets appear to be more favorable for enhancing muscle strength. We mentioned this 2016 New York study that found in-trained men performing these large muscle mass exercises with these training variables, hypertrophy outcomes were greater when resting 3 minutes versus 1 minute between sets. Bench press and squat strength gains were also greater when resting 3 minutes between sets. This 1995 USA study had trained men perform this training program and found squat strength gains tended to be greater when resting for 3 minutes versus 1.5 minutes or 30 seconds between sets. What about even longer rest intervals? This 2010 Brazilian study had trained men execute this program and found leg press and bench press strength gains were not significantly different between resting for 3 or 5 minutes between sets, but both rest periods produced larger strength gains versus resting 1 minute between sets. Now, though the differences between the 3 and 5 minute rest periods were non-significant statistically, the leg press gains in particular seemingly favor the 5 minute rest period. This is only a single measure from a single study and more research is certainly needed to determine if 5 minutes of rest between sets is superior to 3 minutes of rest. Again, you could experiment with 5 minutes of rest between sets if you're willing to.
When looking at large muscle mass exercises with set numbers controlled, resting 2.5 to 3 minutes between sets produces more hypertrophy than resting for 1 minute or less. It's not clear if rest durations beyond 2.5 to 3 minutes provide more hypertrophic benefit. More research is needed. It's worth knowing if you perform more sets with short rests on large muscle mass movements, you likely can see similar hypertrophy to long rests with fewer sets. With small muscle mass exercises, short rests seem to be perfectly fine if not potentially, again emphasizing potentially as more data is needed, superior. As for strength adaptations, 3 minutes produces greater gains versus shorter durations, and similar to the discussion on hypertrophy with large muscle mass movements, more research is needed to analyze if 5 minutes of rest is better than 3 minutes. If you've made it this far, I have a free ebook you might like. It's the ultimate guide to bench pressing for strength and or hypertrophy, with over 100 scientific references. Whether you train for strength and or hypertrophy, we discuss technical factors like grip width and bar path, training factors, rep ranges, volume and frequency, comparisons between the bench press and other similar exercises, and other fascinating science conducted on the bench press. Access the ebook via the link in the description or comments.